Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe. If you enjoy the reading, keep in mind this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Okay, Virgo, personal reading link is also in the description box below this video. All right, let's get into this reading. It's already August. Happy first second day of August. So let's see what the energies are coming up here for August 2023. Virgo's sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay. And I think that's it. Okay. You have healthy choices. Making, <laughs> whoa, making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. Wonderful. Ooh, you also have Cupid's arrows, having faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting, and a little bit of hesitation. You have someone here who likes you. Uh, they they see your photographs. <laughs> Photograph, I don't want you. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories, uh, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, wanting to date. Why am I all the way over to the left? Wanting to date and talking. Someone is interested in conversing more. Awaited message drives, text, call, email, and hoovering. So um, yeah, somebody's definitely interested in you. Looks like a new love start happening here in August. This is pretty cool, Virgo, meeting somebody new. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. Very cool. Okay, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, it's safe for you to love and you have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the rela a relationship going. Okay. Um, so I feel like some of you are done with a past type of connection or relationship with someone. Um, just not enough attraction or chemistry or someone you've been dating and it's just kind of like, nah, it's done. And you've got a new opportunity with somebody new showing up here in August. Okay, so let's take a look and see. Sounds like it's going to be a... A very interesting read. Let's take a look and see who this person is that's coming in for Virgo for you in August. Try to give when you'll meet them, where you'll meet them, what they're about, what they're like. Okay. Hmm. So we've got the Seven of Cups. Oh, okay. So the King of Wands is showing up here, Virgo. So this feels like somebody who um, is real hesitant. And like we said, there's hesitation here. This person's a bit hesitant to put themselves out there, which is very unusual for a King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, they're definitely, okay, That they're, they're changing the message. They're not hesitant to date or put themselves out there they're hesitant to get in any flings they're not interested in um connecting with anyone that is just going to ghost them or they've been ghosted in the past they're not interested in connecting with anyone who is just kind of like visions of grandeur all up in their head this this king of wands showing up here seems very serious and i feel like this person has pretty much been out on the dating scene or they've been in a relationship where they got ghosted or something there was no commitment something kind of just didn't uh for them it was an unrequited love for sure it just didn't work out you know and i feel like this king of wands just kind of stepped back and took a break in their dating life and just decided to just i guess chill a little bit um yeah, they, they decided to step back from making love offers to anyone or, you know, I, I don't feel like this King of Wands is like really disgruntled. I feel like they're just taking a time out from dating, honestly, you know, and they're kind of like re-strategizing like, all right, why do they keep meeting all these <laughs> people who are non-committal or people who are just not in the energy of being in a serious kind of relationship? So, 
yeah that's the energy of this person now let's see how are you going to meet this fire sign how is virgo gonna meet this person in august okay let's see you have the seven of pentacles definitely going to be some communication Oop. okay all right so i feel like you the first thing they're telling me is you might meet this person connected to your work okay um and for others something to do with financial investments and i feel like there's like some kind of a love click happening here <clears throat> i don't know what this has to do with photos but it, it might not be their work it could be your work if you have a if you work somewhere where your picture is up or your picture is like for people to see for whatever it is you you do maybe you have a headshot or some kind of portrait or, of some sort i feel like this person sees it and uh, there's some it feels mostly like it's at your place of work you know I, I don't really feel like it's on I mean it could be for some of you it could be on like a dating site you know um, if you're on dating sites but if you're not I feel like it's it's somewhere connected to you to your work or their work okay um, oh wow you've got the two of cups yeah so you're definitely gonna be face to face with this person like in real time connect seeing them real time now that could be it like in real life face to face um and it could also be um like on maybe a zoom call or uh something like that it feels like you know how you would use zoom for like work it feels like it would be connected to some kind of professional thing that is done um either on the internet or just sitting across from each other at a desk or a table of some sort, okay? So this is definitely going to be some kind of professional, that's what I want to say, less so the word work, more so a professional setting, okay? Because that kind of covers a lot of stuff there. And now, it could, now for some of you, like I said, it, it could be communicating, um, meeting someone on a dating site, but let's try and see like when when is this going to happen for some of you this is also you're introduced to this person through a friend okay so let's try and see um when this might be happening here for you virgo it's funny how this played out you know i just feel like oh well, some of you are like where's the new person where's new people i want to meet somebody new some of you might um serve serve coffee or food or something too you might be uh, or they might be somebody might be in the service industry as well like um bartender or serves food a server of some sort okay some of you this is going to be around the 10th of august the 10th of august maybe you go out to eat or you go out for drinks or something you know <clears throat> with other people or with a friend and you connect with this person it's just in there either you're in a professional setting or they are okay that's really what i feel like this is it's not so much you know um it's connected through somebody's job or career okay let's see all right so they're saying between the 10th and the 21st of august so you have a couple you have like 10 11 days there <laughs> definitely but i i do see look at this you've got the ten of swords and the world so this is like a major shift happening in your life in august surrendering letting go of the past with the world moving forward um completing like you've learned the lesson from some past relationship the contracts have been sealed signed and sealed and finished out and you're starting over and i feel like you're going into like the the the, the last four months of the year are going to be a lot of communicating with someone um, cupid's arrows healthy choices um a lot of dating so like really liking each other i feel and then after the after the end of 2023 going into the new year 
Let's see. I don't know why we're going this far, but they're just saying. Oh, wow. Okay. You have the Queen of Cups here. And the star. Beautiful. So that's, Virgo, I feel like that's you coming in here strong. <laughs> Healed. Renewed. Sense your emotions, your feelings, your sense of self. There's hope again. So you've got like the beginning of the new year. I feel, so I kind of feel like the next four months, August through December. December, wait. August, September, October, November, December, four or five months, ouch, is going to be um, really getting to know each other, really getting to know somebody and opening up. And I feel like you and this person, there's a similarity. Now, they could also be a water sign, but I do feel like this is coming up more in your energy with this Queen of Cups, male or female, that you are um, really done with... Look at the how she's got the that big chalice there, but it has a lid on it. So it's kind of like your feelings for a past relationship or unrequited love situation. It's like there's a lid on it now. Like there's no need to... Um, it's not like your feelings are suppressed. It's just kind of like it's done. You know, like you you've recovered. You've healed from something. You no longer desire. You don't have... Um, your feelings are not just jumping out of the cup and like making you crazy. That almost looks like a robot with little hook hands. Um, so you might have been also like in robot mode, <laughs> you know, um, with your emotions, just kind of like, oh, there you go. Oh God, why do I, I, I can't unsee this now. Look at that. Do you see what I'm seeing? It's like like two like there's an eye there and an eye there and it's like the body and the arms and the hands. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Listen, I don't touch marijuana. I don't do drugs. I don't do nothing. <laughs> this is just my creative backflow coming out here. But I feel like you know your emotions are no longer being dictated by that little guy there. <laughs> So there's a lot of healing. Um, like I said, there's renewal, there's hope. You've got this inner clarity. You're getting your faith back. Remember, I said um, you might even feel like you're a star just being in the spotlight as opposed to this person. Now let's see how, you know, the connection with them, how they're going to be feeling about you. <laughs> I can't unsee that now. <laughs> all the years I've been doing this with these cards and this is I tell you every time it's like every time you go back and read a book you 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 there's something new in the book even if you've read it like 10 times I just can't okay all right so they definitely are going to be full-on interested in you oh wow and learning about what makes you tick i do feel like this person is going to get heavily attached to you um this is not necessarily a bad thing with the devil it just basically means i mean it's it's fun sexy times that's for sure but this devil is this is just very physical attraction like almost might as well face it you're addicted to love <laughs> so mm, virgo and i do feel like this person will want to learn everything they can about you They're, they'll be very intrigued and interested to know what you do for a living and also um you know how you i feel like asking a lot of questions through communication um like how you how you like really interested in you i don't even know it's like well where did you go to school that kind of stuff this doesn't feel like someone who will be just kind of a player you know i mean a player is not going to be curious about where you went to school growing up what your life was like what your parents were like you know um anything like this is someone who will be extremely interested and in, a lot about your childhood will want to know about your childhood um and even talk about some, um, they want to know everything. Like, what are your addictions? What are your secrets? Like, I feel like this person, and it just kind of happens. You know what I mean? With Cupid's arrows, it just kind of happens. This is not someone who um, I feel like is messing around. Okay. 
There's a queen of wands. Okay. They will definitely want to know about your mother or the, the woman, your relationship with a female in your life um, as well. And also um, maybe the last person you were with, why it didn't work out, if you were married, um, what happened there, you know, um, or if you were in another relationship. I just saw the emperor. So that does represent something to do also with like what the relationship was like, I feel like very curious because I feel like if someone's a player, they're not going to care about your last relationship and what happened. They won't ask, you know what I mean? And this person comes across to me as like really wanting to learn about you and understand you, what your parents were like, um, who raised you, you know, um, what your job is like, who you, how your boss treats you, like a lot of interesting, like real caring kind of an energy here. Okay, let's see what else will be what else will be the energy from this person towards Virgo that wanted to flip okay Ooh, Knight of Pentacles so this person is not in a rush I could tell you right now they're not in a rush to um, they want to take it slow and take their time getting to know you so if you are like in some kind of a rush don't be in a rush. Don't um, try to force the issue. I feel like this is one of those, there's a lot of talking and getting to know each other. You know, beginning in August, going all the way to Christmas. This card always reminds me of Santa Claus, you know. So going all the way through into the end of the year, really getting to know each other. Four, four months, right? August is eight and eight. And four is 12, right? So four months, duh. <laughs> Um, yeah, so they're going to take it slow, but you know what? Okay, yeah, because why? Um, they don't want to hurt you. This person's serious about a relationship. Like, and not just that, but you. S very serious about you. Notice there's no cups here. And I feel like because this person um, is not because they're so serious they're not going to try to like really love bomb you you know what i mean they're not going to try to you know what's the old saying right i think i heard it men men give love to get sex and women give sex to get love right i feel like this person is not going to try to give love so that they you'll know because you'll actually say to yourself why isn't this person like trying to kiss me or why aren't they trying to be all lovey-dovey and emotional um, I do feel like they, they got, they got a bad hand in the back. I mean, in the past, <laughs> bad hand in the back. I, I don't even know what that means, but I also feel like they want you to trust them. And that's why the card here says it is safe for you to trust in this situation. I feel like this person, um, they don't, they don't want to be like everybody else who's just trying to take something from you or, you know, be overly emotional and play games and we'll play with your heart i love that like you know and i i feel like some of you might be kind of like okay but like a kiss is not playing my heart no this person is very serious and traditional very traditional it could be an aries right very traditional i'm feeling a lot of fire energy so you know whatever their sign is it's not as important like they could have fire it could be their sun they could come across as a fire sign in their rising or they could have it in venus you know um but this person comes in very confident and assured and patient you know the king of wands queen of wands they're they're fire signs and so obviously they're action oriented but they're sitting on a throne you know, they're not, it's not the Knight of Wands energy coming through. This is someone who's considerate. They, they take their time. They think things through before acting. Um, they're very self-assured. You know, they're not, this is just someone who's a leader. So they don't need to act crazy, you know, but they're, they're powerful types of people. Um, but they're not in a rush. The very, I'm also picking up this person is very highly intellectual and it's very, very smart, like super smart. Um, yeah, there's page ones. <laughs> okay. Yep. And then once they kind of 
you know, get to know you and everything, then I feel like they start getting a little silly. Once they find out about you, that you are someone who likes to take your time as well, and you're looking for something serious, then the silliness starts to kick in. And then, you know, this is, come on, let's go do this. Let's go do that. I kind of like it because the page of wands is very enthusiastic. So at first, I feel like, uh, yeah, it's just this person... Is, is just not going to jump right into another relationship that, where there's going to be ghosting or there's going to be no commitment or anything. I feel like this person is just, they just want, like, it doesn't even have to be marriage. You know, this person just wants safety, trust, companionship. You know, if, if, it, if it goes further down the line and two people tie the knot, then so be it. I, I don't feel like this person is anti that. I just kind of feel like they just want someone you know, that they could love and that who will love them and that there's camaraderie and there's friendship and there's laughter and, and doing things together and enjoying their your lives together and supporting one another and having each other's back. You know, uh, that's really, that's not too much to ask. And I feel like that's what this person is truly seeking and has been. And I feel like there's been a parallel between you and this person um, where you both have experienced heartbreak you know okay oh yeah this this person is going to be getting super super excited about you virgo like you are everything i've been looking for a wish come true it, it'll after they kind of like concede it in their head you know or in their heart and in their mind that you are the person that they've been waiting for um then it then it's on then it, so they get to the nine of cups not the ten you know but this is like I just heard Final Fantasy. What the heck? <laughs> Where does that come from? I don't know. I think that's a game. Final Fantasy or is it a movie? I don't know. But yeah, I just, I don't know what that means. They just said Final Fantasy. Okay. Yep. In intuitively coming to understand that you are, you're it, Virgo. You're the one. Okay. So, I mean, how happy could you be, Virgo? Um, that you get an actual opportunity to start over, death to the past, ending of the past, um, just kind of being in this like big changes coming here and moving on, having a rebirth and transformation in your love life. One more and then we're going to move on to the rest of the cards here. Oh, there you go. So you got the Ace of Wands. So definitely regrowth. You know, death card always reminds me of like a catastrophe that happens and then like a tornado or a hurricane and then you know everything's destroyed and then everything breaks down with death it's done okay and then what happens after that we have new regrowth and you have like a new budding romance happening here um yeah and this is awesome virgo i'm super super happy and excited about this reading let's get some messages of love and see what other messages you need to have here for this August romance? Okay, here and now, your true love is already part of your life. Some of you might, like some of you might already know this person, okay? Or know of them. All right, financial challenges are affecting this connection. So that's not in a negative way. Remember I said there's some kind of professional, for some of you, you'll meet this person on a professional basis. Um... I feel like finances and career and work all kind of play in together. So even with the seven of pentacles that was there, that can be like a banking thing or something to do like a professional thing um, that has to do with money. And um, it's affecting the relationship, but in a positive way. Look, trust. It is safe to trust in the situation. So that's what I was seeing there. It is safe for you to love. Okay. There's integrity. In, see, I keep going over here. Sorry, you guys. There's integrity. Does the situation align with your values and morals? This relationship is all based on integrity, values and morals. That's what I was saying. I don't feel like this person is coming in as like a player. Addiction is affecting this relationship, but be patient. Everything will unfold in divine timing. And that's what I was feeling like with the devil um, where... I just like it's nothing to be ashamed of if you have an addiction um, that maybe you fear might affect this relationship or they might have a feeling to tell you that, you know, 
they dealt with that themselves. Um, but I, I def, I, I feel like, I feel like with the addiction aspect, like I don't feel like you're going to meet someone who's like two people coming together who are like addicted to substances or anything like that. I feel like it's affecting the relationship because there might be external parties connected to you and this person either on either side where um, something kind of plays into this relationship, okay? This is the main message, like somebody else's addiction, okay? Um, so whether that's like with a child or an ex or something along those lines, Okay, leaning on inner circle during this time, so support. Yeah, um, this person also might tell you that they had an addiction and they um, got it under control and they're starting their life over, you know? Like they're, maybe they went to rehab. <laughs> What's that song? <laughs> you know I'm going to sing it. I don't, I don't remember how it goes. I hear it in my head, but I don't know. I forget that girl's name. She's passed away. <laughs> but um yeah for some of you uh either you're going to tell them this that you've recovered from an addiction or that they have or that you guys were connecting with um people who were like you were in a relationship with someone who was an addict and so i mean i like that this person virgo is not in a, in a hurry to rush you into bed or anything or try to get you to take them to the bank to pay their bills i like that this person is coming in slow patient and is here for the long term okay which is what the knight of pentacles is that's someone who is very reliable and is willing to put in the fast or the hard work um and that they're patient you know and for you to be patient with them that this thing will go where it needs to go don't rush it okay so let's see what your moon pie messages are okay hmm this is great <laughs> although probably painful but hitting rock bottom is like finally we've surrendered here and i f didn't you have the ten of swords i thought i saw the ten of swords you did there was surrender this is like there it is this is giving up this is like i'm done with this past stuff i've hit rock bottom this person's hit rock bottom it is like there's the only way to go now is up okay so this is definitely an energy of like you, you hitting the, you know, you finally bottoming out in a situation, this person bottoming out and it's like just ready to date again or ready to get back out there, or just ready to open your heart again. And I feel like this August is going to be it. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the energy has shifted even with the full moon that was happening last night. And I think it might be some of it today too. Um, for some of you, a direct, honest female is coming into your life as well. Or you have um, someone connected to you that comes in to tell you, hey, bottom out with that past person. I'm going to introduce you to somebody new. Okay. Um, and, this, and she's very like, she has an attack. She'd come right out and tell you the truth. Let's see what else is going on here. Okay, wow. Wealth, health, and abundance. This is great, Virgo. Like, I feel like, oh gosh, August is going to be so nice for you. August is just, this might be the best read ever to start August off, especially if you have a birthday in August. I feel like it's a double whammy. <laughs> Let me see what else is going on. Okay. All right. Waiting for an answer in spiritual principles. So I feel like some of you um, might actually when you connect with this person, maybe you've been praying for someone like this. Um, but I feel like some of you might be checking in with, you know, God or your spirit guides or whomever to confirm to you that um, this person that's coming in is being sent by them. You know, and I feel like that's a really good practice um, so that you can get clear, direct signs that this is not someone who is just coming in to waste your time. I, and I don't really feel that way. I don't feel like this person is coming in to cause any harm. I feel like if this person is willing to wait and take their time and would rather spend most of their time getting to know who you are rather than what you have to offer, I think that's amazing. 
I really do. And I feel like you deserve that, Virgo. Yes, sir, re Bob. Let's see what their Chinese sign is here. Okay, so you're starting off with a dragon. Wow. You are them. Okay, year of the rat, year of the snake. Oh, double snake there. Year of the rooster, holla. There's a rat again. Year of the pig. Dragon again, we're getting a lot of doubles. Year of the goat. Double goat, what the heck? And a dog. So I feel like you guys, that could be you, that could be your person. I'm gonna tell you right now, um, I don't feel like this is a past person. I feel like you're ready to move on and move forward. Now, if this resonates for you and it sounds like you're a past person, well, that maybe that's what this story is. But I, because there isn't a new, there wasn't an ace of cups, but there also wasn't a six of cups. So, or anything that would tell me, um, the only, the only slight thing I would say, some of you, this might be an Aquarius where there's a renewal if you have an Aquarius in your life, okay? Or had one. But I don't really feel like this is, you know, the past coming back. And, you know, so I want you to take that with a grain of salt as well. You know, if you, but if you feel like, yeah, no, that's, that sounds mostly like my person and what we do and how we are together. And you want to make it the best person, then you go right ahead. Because a lot of times you guys go ahead and change the story anyway. <laughs> I could be telling you, like, there's a bowl of fruit that wants to marry you. And you're like, no, it's not a bowl of fruit. It's a bowl of marbles. And that's not, and that's my person. <laughs> Just like, did I say a bowl of marbles? <laughs> Don't try to make it fit. But you do what you got to do. Whatever. So let's see what your other messages are here. Oh, gosh, it's too funny. I'm actually going to just push these out of the way here. I changed my setup a little bit, you guys, so I hope you don't mind. I hope it still looks kind of the same. Um, I just needed a little more space in my office. All right. I have to move stuff around. Okay. Virgo, you are compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded, um, successful, full of financial security and prosperity you have the Midas touch everything for you turns out beautifully going forward a supportive parent and spouse is what you are and you're a good person to work for and I feel like this is something that this person is going to see about you and really really like about you you know especially your compassion and your Midas touch and how supportive you are Yes, these are beautiful characteristics. All right, let's see. We have the letter K. We have a G. I heard um, Kenny or Kenneth or Ken. Okay, could be somebody's name. Okay. Back streets, back. All right. Burn, 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 burn. Let me see here. I am definitely picking up going out dancing. There's going to be um, maybe line dancing or doing some kind of dancing in August. Um, maybe you're going to, a, um, I don't know, going out dancing. That's really what I'm I'm feeling with another with this person. I feel like they like to dance. They like to kick up their feet. Maybe it's country dancing or um, dancing in a club or um, dance. Uh, trance music or something like that I do I mean I don't know <laughs> depending on your age of course but uh, maybe even ballroom dancing or salsa dancing there's definitely going to be uh, I feel like a dancing energy going out and having it a good time maybe it's slow dancing slow dancing dun, 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 dun. okay now you've got listen Virgo I have to tell you something and I'm just, usually I don't do this with these messages, but you have a King of Pentacles and a King of Cups. And with the Three of Cups, this kind of makes me feel like some of you are going to be transitioning between two different people as well. Now, for others, it's a same-sex relationship. Um, and for others, the other message is you 
um, as you are here, the King of Pentacles. Some of you might be connecting with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and you might go dancing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I just felt that, like they just said to tell you that, okay? Um, or you could be connecting with both of them. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Or maybe you are right now. Hmm. Okay, let's see. All right. Um, huh. Okay. Um, so I'm get they're giving me the numbers 310. And I also feel like um somebody's going to be helping an elderly person with their bags. <clears throat> helping an elderly person with their bags. I'm also picking up um someone's visiting a castle or lives near where there's castles beautiful okay and something to do with an eagle or eagles oh gosh and then i'm hearing critical care unit critical care unit Now, that's interesting. So, the first thing I'm getting is like, um, be careful. They're saying if you have to climb a ladder in August. Maybe you're someone who climbs ladders. So, I don't see an accident happening. I'm just seeing, make sure that the ladder is, it's not a rickety old wood ladder that's just going to crumble. Or if it's a metal ladder, make sure that it's sturdy and secure. That's the message that I'm getting. Because um, it could be something. Okay. And we get the um, letter C and the letter H as well. And someone is 61. Someone's also born in 69. And someone is also born in 91. And they're giving me 615 and also 910. Okay, one more. Okay. Um, so the letter L, I'm hearing the letter L, someone's initial, initial uh, letter L. And... Uh, A V, and then they're saying a W. Oh, maybe somebody drives a VW, a Volkswagen. Okay, look guys, I got a new setup here. So we're gonna get into this and see what the signs are, and see what other numbers come up. Okay. So you have Leo, Pisces, Sagittarius. Okay, I feel like I'm missing one. Yep. And Aries. So there you go. I mean, those right there, those are your fire signs. This does feel, I'm feeling strong fire in August, okay? This person could have a birthday in August as well. They could be a Leo. Um, but this is really great. All right, so September 1st, you have the 19th, uh, September 17th, the 10th, the 9th, the 7th, the 8th, and the 2nd. Also, August 29th. Oh, gosh. 28th, 27th, 26th of August. August 30th and 31st, okay? And let's see. Special numbers here. All right. 4014. So some of these could be phone numbers or the last four digits. It, it, it'll rec you'll recognize the number sequence. Um, 2112. 
11210. So hopefully, if you're not sure, ask Steve. So now they're giving me area codes 404, uh, 412, 212, 210, and 211. Okay. That works. Yeah, so I'm just picking up some really strong fire, fire sign vibes here. All right, let's get a charm. Pick a charm, pick a charm, any charm. Oh, you have, <laughs> you have, because you are beautiful in every single way. Look at that. That's you. Oh, yes. You are so beautiful. This person might tell you how beautiful you are. It could be your aesthetic or just what a beautiful heart you have. I do feel like you're definitely going to get some type of compliment that's like that, that, this, that they feel that you are extremely beautiful. Let's get another charm. Oh, look, you also have a fairy on a moon. How beautiful. <laughs> kind of looks like my, um, looks a little like my Moon Pie Tarot deck, doesn't it? Yeah. I love that, although she's way sexier. But yeah, fairy on a moon. I don't really know what that means, so if anybody wants to drop a comment below, you know, that'll be a fun game. Give everybody what your interpretation is of some of these charms. If you know, help help the sisters and the brothers out. <laughs> Let me get another one. Okay. This is, oh, geez. This is a, a candle sitting in like some holly. Okay. This is also somebody's got... Um, a rocket ship, a very bushy rocket. <laughs> okay, um, you know what? I'll save that for the other website. But yeah, um, there's something to do with a Christmas candle as well. Um, something around the holidays. Because I don't really know of a candle. Yeah, this is holly. Because I see the... Look. <coughs> I don't know if you can see it. Because I can't hold my things up, but... There's like um, little holly berries connected to this candle. So yeah, this is something to do with Christmas. I just want to get another one. Oh, this might be an ornament for some of you, this um, moon with the fairy. Might be an ornament. Oh, look, they're giving me... Okay. Oh, you've got Grace. Somebody's name might be Grace. Grace. And you have a blue shirt with a red heart on it. So someone might be wearing a shirt like that, a blue shirt with a heart. It could be a child's shirt. It could be a, sh a shirt that you have um, that you're wearing, or maybe you haven't worn it in a long time, or maybe you used to wear a shirt like that. Pretty cool, Virgo. I really like this reading. I feel like you're going to have a, a, a fantastic love experience with somebody new. Oh, uh, sorry, same. guys. S with somebody new happening in August so it's really beautiful just like you <laughs> um all right so I'm gonna leave that there I hope that you know you got something out of that and uh, if you want to get a personal reading there's a link in the description box below you can also join me on my OnlyFans site as well where I do the explicit tarot cards readings no I'm not doing anything personally explicit this is just the tarot card readings that you know we can't do here so if you want to join and become a member go ahead over there the link in the description box just click that link and then that will take you to my link tree where you can peruse all of the different um, options you can even buy me a cup of coffee too you'll see that there as well I just added that because I love my coffee yay but um all right you guys so I'm gonna leave that there I hope you have a great night make good choices love each other love yourselves be happy and I will see you all back here tomorrow and don't forget I'm running a special for August for the personal readings 45 minutes um go over and check that out on my website all right you guys love you <laughs>